I'm here at the 2023 Legends of Pittsburgh in Punta Cana, and I've got with me James Daniels, and we are getting ready to play a serious game of mini bowling. Are you ready? Um, I'm excited. I mean, yeah, I mean, I've never played mini bowling before, but it should be fun. So I'm glad I'm glad I'm here and I'm glad I get a chance to do it. We're so glad you're here, too. So this is day two of a six day event. What have you enjoyed the most so far with your experience with Legends of Pittsburgh? Uh, I would just say the biggest thing is just like seeing fans is like, you know, the only time I really get to interact with fans is like in Latrobe, PA, and you know, there's thousands of them, but like here it's like they're close and like, you know, they can like, we have those one-on-one -on -one conversations and that's really cool because you never get a chance to do that anywhere. So I, it's been really nice to be able to interact with the fans. I love what he just said, because so often I hear from fans that think this experience is just too good to be true or that they don't actually get that personal experience with you. And you're sitting here telling me you're having full on conversations with these fans and really getting a chance to know them. Yeah. And outside of getting a chance to know the fans, what else have you enjoyed about being here with some of the other guys and just the bonding time that you've had? Just the, I mean, the weather, I mean, the weather, it's, I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm in Wisconsin, I'm in the Midwest. And so like, it's cold. It, it was 10 degrees when I left and I know a couple of the other guys coming from the Midwest. So it's nice that we can get to some warm weather. We can take a break from our off season training and like we can chill and hang out because a lot of the guys I haven't seen them since the season's ended. So it's nice to catch up and just chill out and just enjoy ourselves. So outside of football, what are some other things that you just absolutely love that are kind of passions or hobbies that you like to do in your time off? Uh, I play a lot of video games. I play, <laughs> I mean, I play a lot of video games. How good are you? I mean, the hours I put in, I should be better, but I'm decent. I, have, I play more for the fun, you know, instead of being good, but I play a lot of video games and then I'm, I have two cats at home. And so I spend a lot of time with my cats and so, I mean, video games and cats, so. Okay, this is a super interesting combination of video, ga video games and cats. Do you walk your cats? Like, I know people who walk their cats. <laughs> no, so both my cats, so one cat, she's super scared to go outside. So like, we got a harness for her. And like, every time we put it on her, she just like flops and like, she won't walk. And then the other one wants to go outside, but it's, it's too dangerous outside for them. So we keep them inside as much as we can. I mean, of course, like we, we have like a screened in porch. And so like, we let them out on that. But except for that, no, I don't, <laughs> no, no walking. That's dangerous. So what would you say to a fan and how would you encourage them to come on this trip next year? I would just say it's just, I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it's nice. I mean, really be able to see the guys in like a relaxed situation. Like it's a very unique experience. Like I said, like the only time I really see fans is in like Latrobe. And as you see, you, as you know, in Latrobe, there's a lot of people, but so like if they can come and just get the one on one time or the four on one time, it's very unique experience. So I would encourage all fans to do it. That's exciting. So James, now I need you to make a prediction. Who's going to win today in this mini bowling contest? Uh, my hand feels good. I think it's me. I think, I, I think, I think I'm going to win. So I got, you know, I, I looked at the balls and I think I'll be good. So I'm putting a prediction as me. All right. I like it. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you.